Did you know that water covers over 70% of Earth's surface? We couldn't live without it. But have you ever wondered where all that water came from? Scientists have two main theories. One is that as Earth cooled over billions of years, all the water that we have today was released from inside the planet. The other is that icy comets and asteroids delivered our water billions of years ago. Now, it's really hard to test these ideas because, well, Earth is pretty big, and water is too. It makes up 70% of our planet, so it's hard to study. Plus, the stuff that's deep inside Earth is really hot and under tons of pressure, so it's not like we can just dig it up and analyze it. And we can't send spacecraft to outer space to collect samples of comets and asteroids because they're really far away and really cold, so it's hard to get to them. But in 2021, scientists found some answers thanks to a Japanese spacecraft called Hayabusa 2. Its mission was to collect samples from an asteroid named Rugu and bring them back to Earth for analysis. And one of the things that the spacecraft found was that the asteroid had lots of water and hydrogen. In fact, the amount of water in the asteroid was about the same as what we have in all of Earth's oceans. And when the researchers compared the hydrogen isotopes found in the asteroid with those in Earth's water, they found that they matched. That means that at least some of Earth's water really did come from outer space. So where does all this water come from? It turns out that water on Earth is both Earth-made and space-born. Some of it formed when our planet's insides were hot and under a lot of pressure, like when rock deep inside Earth turned into minerals that could trap hydrogen and oxygen atoms, which then formed water. Some of it came from icy objects in outer space, and somewhere in between, some water may have been delivered by meteorites that formed when asteroids crashed into Earth. So that's why we can be pretty sure that at least some of the water on Earth came from space. One day, it might even come from a crashed comet. Scientists think that about 3 billion years ago, a large comet about 2 kilometers wide crashed into Earth. It left a crater in what is now Canada, and it gave our planet a lot of water maybe even more than we have now. Over time, that water spread out into our oceans. So next time you take a drink of water, remember, you're drinking from the very same cup that ancient astronauts drank from billions of years ago. The glass you drink from might have once been part of a comet. How cool is that? If you want to learn more about where water on Earth came from, check out the resources. And thanks for watching.